the late uh, black author James Baldwin said, I can't hear what you say because I see what you do. Mm. And what we hear in Florida is that African American history is required instruction in our schools. That's what we hear. What we see is that for almost 30 years, that law has been on the books and it has not been enforced. That's what we see. Now, we are here today to serve notice that it's time out for hypocrisy. It's time out for hypocrisy. What time is it? Time out. Time out for hypocrisy. 30 years, and there has been no consequence whatsoever for instructors who are not teaching African American history. If we say that the speed limit is 70 and someone goes 80, the highway patrol is there with some consequences. But there have been no consequences for not teaching African American history. What time is it? Time out. It's time out for hypocrisy. Now, the courses that were to be taught on African American history were intended to explore how individual freedoms have been infringed by slavery, racial oppression, segregation, racial discrimination, and laws that resulted in racial oppression, racial segregation, and racial discrimination, and to highlight those individuals who worked to overturn unjust laws. But we're told by Ron DeSantis that this kind of history has no educational value. It's time out for hypocrisy. Time out for hypocrisy. In the state of Florida, there are 67 school districts, 67 counties. Only 12 of them have been deemed to be doing an exemplary job in teaching African American history. And this determination was made by the Commissioner of Education's African American History Task Force. 12 out of 67. What time is it? Time out. Time out for hypocrisy. Now, what are we going to do in terms of consequences? If it's not taught, someone needs to be held accountable. That's right. Someone needs to be held accountable. The 12, those districts that are exemplary, what are they doing differently? Well, they've adopted textbooks that depict African-American people. Do you remember seeing African-American people in your textbooks? No. It's, it's time out for hypocrisy. Time out. What time is it? Time out. time out for hypocrisy. So they have textbooks. They have staff training. Do you know there are some instructors who were surprised to know that in 1994 this law was put on the books? Mm -hmm. Why would they be surprised? Because no one ever told them. Mm -hmm. No one ever said you have to teach this. And so what time is it? Time out, time out for hypocrisy. They have developed a curriculum. That's what the 12 have done, their own curriculum. They didn't wait for the college board to do it. They developed their own curriculum. And their school boards adopted instruction in African-American history as a priority. That is what African-American history ought to be in all 67 counties. They've developed curriculum guides in the 12 counties that are teaching it. And they are teaching it across 180 days. That's the length of the school year. They're not just doing it in February as an afterthought, as an aside, as an addendum. They are teaching it 180 days a year. And so we're here today to say we understand what you say, but we can't hear what you say because we see what you do. So. We want to say today that it's time out for hypocrisy, and it's time to make this law real. It's time for consequences when it is not taught. So we're serving notice today by our presence that we want the African American History Task Force in the state of Florida appropriately funded. What time is it? Time out. 
time out for hypocrisy. We want to make sure that laws that apply to public schools apply to all schools. I'm working with Representative Franklin Gallup Franklin, and we have a bill that says that any school that receives tax dollars would be required to teach African American history. And what time is it? Time out, time out for hypocrisy. So we want the African American History Task Force appropriately funded. We want recognition that this has educational value, that our lives and our contributions have educational value. And remember Governor DeSantis, remember Commissioner Diaz, remember all of the officials. We can't hear what you say because we see what you do.